A mountain spiritual retreat that's been around for almost a century is plotting its course for the future. As News 13's Rex Hodge reports, Lake Junaluska has grown to the point where it must make a decision, and the town of Waynesville could play a prominent role. Lake Junaluska is looking at a choice, move away from being a homeowners association and become its own town, or merge with the town of Waynesville. It's been a peaceful Methodist retreat in the mountains for almost 100 years. We need to plan for the next 100 years. Executive and Director so, Jack Ewing uh, knows the infrastructure of the community's roads, water and sewer is aging and will cost about $1.7 million to improve. But to get federal, state and county funds... We will need to be either incorporated or we'll need to be annexed. If annexation happens, it would be to the town of Waynesville. This is not us coming to them and trying to engulf them or any way take them over. Mayor Gavin Brown says both Waynesville and Lake Junaluska are studying the two options. What do the residents of the town of Waynesville think and feel about having such a large area uh, annexed? You know, what's going to happen with the taxes and that sort of thing, and, um, which I haven't really heard anything. The same question needs to be answered by the residents at the assembly. Primarily the concern is that Lake Junaluska would lose its identity as a, as a special community, a spiritual community, and basically maybe just become a, a city park. Uh, city of Waynesville. Ed Russell would like to see Lake Junaluska become its own town. Victor Dingus hasn't made up his mind but says Waynesville has always been a good neighbor. And I'm still looking for uh, the business model to emerge and to see what the truly pros and cons are. A Lake Junaluska task force continues studying the options and listening. That there will be a strong consensus that whatever decision we make is the right decision. More discussions will take place with the lake's board of directors at its meeting in October and another public forum is scheduled for early November. Reporting from Haywood County, Rex Hodge, News 13.